Hello and welcome. There is nothing really video worthy here. I'm just downstairs and I am searching. Uh, Commodore 64 one flash error code. Let's see, 64 dead kiss flash codes. Let's see if we can find something here that would be helpful. Recently bought Dead Test Current Service Flashes White for a second and black. Can't seem to find what this means. Grand point main right direction. I believe it's a RAM issue. That is correct. You should know how many times the flash for popping and flashing is. Here is a table for your convenience. Let's see. Oh. The table that I clicked on is very tiny and hard to read. Woo. Like I am blowing up the size of my screen here, and we're like going plus 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 on the. Okay, so what's it say? One. Okay, yeah, it says it should be U twelve. It should be. But we just changed that. Oh dear, 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 dear. Let's see. Here's another thing. E12. So, I conducted extensive repairs to the board, removing and eventually socketing almost every IC in the board, and at this point, all the ICs that went in them. The only exception are the kernel and the basic ROM that I ran out of sockets. However, all the traces are intact and connected to what they're supposed to be. I checked and rechecked the sockets as far as I can tell. Everything should be connected. It should be connected. It is connected. And there are no unexpected shorts on the board. Even so, I'm getting a single flash RAM error. Sadly, I don't have a working oscilloscope, but my logic probe reads activity on the data lines of U9, U21, and U22. The others seem to be held high. However, my project, my logic probe isn't that good. On is off, red is high. And then try removing the RAM to check errors on, on the dead test. Well, that was what I got. So it seems that seven flashes is U9, five is U10, three is U11, one is U12, U21 is eight, U22 is six, U23 is one. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, Trello seems to have missed the trace. Hmm. 
So now, this guy is saying, do you have trouble with U13, which is a, not a real chip? Not a RAM chip. I'm just clicking on another link. That is telling me what's what here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a 64, yeah. U13 is a 74 LS257, which is a multiplexer. <sighs> anyway, this does not say it, but slash codes. I am going. Well, there's all kinds of things here. So, now I've got to the ad, not the export, where you can order it, which is a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. But it doesn't have the codes here. Oh, the 64 did this, yes. I'm going to do this. It's a book. I probably have it. All right. I cannot see down this thing. I can see down, but I can't see the page now. Why, why, why? I have zoomed in. Oh, okay. Yes, there is the RAM flash code chart. And U one code one flash is indeed U twelve. And I replaced U twelve. This is disturbing. It is it is indeed. Oh, well, it may be that I have to try 
other things, including perhaps like making a whole bunch of RAM chips. You know, one thing I didn't try, I didn't try putting what was supposed to be the bad RAM chip into the working 64. Maybe I should do that. Perhaps I will. Anyway, back to the drawing board. But I, you know what? I don't want to get bogged down on these 64s. I want to get things figured out and resolved. Um, because I've got more pet work to do. So thanks for coming to... This is actually the dining room where I upload and look for things online that might be helpful. And... Uh, see what, what. But I am rather confused at this moment. Rather confused. But oh well, these things happened. So thanks for coming. Stay tuned. We'll uh, see what else we find. We'll see what other, what room we end up in next. I think what I might do next is to try to put the, um, gotta remember what, the dusty, rusty, crusty pet board back into its original case and give it a try. I might. Anyway, thanks for coming. We'll see you again. David Bradley, signing off.